Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Stella Rebor, who is chair of the ADM at this year's uh, Council uh, 2019. Stella, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much. Max. Now, for those uninitiated, tell us exactly what is the ADM? Wow, that is the Admin and Management uh, Committee of the ITU. And what happens in those sessions? Oh, that is where all the issues that relate to the admin of um, the ITU is discussed and it's approved before it's taken to plenary, the ITU uh, Council plenary. Great. And this is your first time chairing this? Yes, my very first time of chairing this committee or any committee in ITU. Great. Okay. So what, are, what have been uh, the most interesting moments for you uh, uh, chairing this, this committee? Uh, there's been a lot of issues to deal with. I'm having to grapple with um, um, a lot of things this year and uh, on, on the agenda, and it seems that there isn't enough time to cover all those things. So uh, needed, uh, I needed to push for us to go through the agenda, and um, so that's... Now, sitting up on the podium is obviously a very different, and and having to to control the uh, um, uh, the conversations in the room is obviously very different from sitting in the room itself and asking for the and asking for the microphone, and asking for the floor, isn't it? Um, for me, sitting on the podium uh, comes natural to me. I had a background in um, like I was an amateur dramatist, so I I love <laughs> the stage. Sorry to say, but so it's. It's, it comes natural to me, and I, I just enjoy it. That doesn't mean that I don't take my work seriously. I do, but I, I, I love being on stage. So what part of your previous life or your, your, your current life uh, do you think has helped you most uh, be, uh, be, being chair? I think being a mother. It's, uh, women, we have to deal with a lot of things at the same time. It's like the experience I had here, you are trying to understand this, then something else is coming up and uh, oppositions, one is wanting this. And so it's like the experience I have with my children every day, trying to balance and trying not to be uh, partial when uh, two of your kids are having conflicting objectives and they want you, mommy this, mommy that, and you have to stay focused and try to get through. At times it's, um, never wrecking but you just have to get through and then you have to get to the office and deal with things there and so i think being a mother helped me the most so in in times of conflict in times of difficult uh, conversations uh, what's what's your what's your what's your tip what's your what's the best way of approaching it do you keep think keep it cool listen keep it cool just keep listening keep it cool and look at the issues, the two people are saying, are coming from different directions, but what is it that they have in common? So you try to stress the commonalities, try to see what, try to see things from the other person's p perspective. So it's like being, uh, taking yourself out of the situation and watching it f as if you were a third party, it helps, it helps a lot. So this is your, your first year uh, chairing this committee, and you're going to have a, also a second year as well. Is there anything else, is there anything that you're going to change or anything new that you think uh, that you might be facing? I don't know whether I would have um, the powers to change things, but I think um, what I think is needed is um, some uh, adoption. We, we need to adopt some... Uh, principles of effective communication, because uh, when you are in the ADM, at times you see endless arguments on things we don't actually disagree on if it was properly communicated. Then, um, you know, some time improvement on time management and uh, the, the information put out should be such that makes things clear. So when we are on the same page before we come, it will um, stop us from having endless arguments that are based not on the facts that are before us, but we'll now know how to just uh, move forward and not debate things that, uh, or debate on information that we already have, I, I think. 
So listening, being better informed, and, and keeping cool uh, would probably be your, your, uh, yes. your tips for that. Yes, just keep cool. Try to um, be um, unbiased. You, you need to keep neutral. And um, it's um, something that it's difficult to do. But you can do it. It's just saying, okay, I hear from this side, I hear from this side, but in my position, I cannot, you know. Then you have to remind yourself, yes, I have my own personal preferences, my own uh, biases, but I have to deal with it. And like I said, being a mother helps a lot. You just have to be that way to manage your family well without anybody being worse off because of the other person. Absolutely, and we're all, all of course, uh, aiming at the, the, the same goals, you know, which is a, a strong ITU, a, a strong uh, in, uh, working environment, etc. I wanted to ask you, in terms of uh, looking a little bit ahead into the future, how do you foresee the next year? I think the next year will be less turbulent because uh, from my experience in ITU, the budget year is usually um, very turbulent. And, but some of the issues probably we've not dealt with um, this year will be moved to next year, but uh, it's like we already started the discussion, so we'll be more conversant with it and we would have had time to share um, our views and rethink our positions. and. So I suspect, I can't predict accurately, but I suspect next year will be less turbulent because we've really had a quite, quite a chaotic um, ADM this year, but I think on most of the issues we pulled through. Well, like I said at the beginning, it may, it may have been chaotic, but you've done a, a wonderful job and I'm sure you will continue to do so. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio and hopefully we'll catch up with you again in the very near future. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you, Stella. Cheers. Thank you.